Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a note on a wonderful service from the National Data Buoy Center, uh, which is called the Buoy Cams. It's a buoys, a buoy, a certain number of these buoys have uh, six cameras on them, and you can view the sea state and clouds and um, uh, in the neighborhood of the buoy, uh, which is often very instructive. And so here's how the here, this is just a note on how this what this looks like and easy to try, easy to do. So you can start out by finding the National Data Buoy Center just in your in your Google browser. Just type NDBC and it'll come straight to the right place. That's all you need. And when this is the main site that shows all of their buoys. Then over on the left, uh, click Buoy Cams, and that will select out the buoy the buoys that have pictures on them. And you see, there's there, there's quite a few. Uh, not uh, and I understand uh, that they are actually increasing this program, and we expect to see a lot more of them in the future, even with um, even with improved cameras. So here's what they look like, and then just a sample one. You can just click, say, for example, that one. It'll turn to a green camera. Then, depending on how you have your browser window set up, if you scroll here, you don't see anything, but then click outside of that window and roll up, and there will be the picture, and the, uh, just a snapshot picture like that. If you want to see the full thing, click this picture, click that link there, which takes you to the main site where all the data is located and you'll see the picture then you can click the picture click it again and then uh, scan through it like that to see the the view uh, uh, all around there these pictures are updated every hour um, the the picture on the left will always have a bearing in it this is a bearing that represents a, somehow the central view of this camera not necessarily spot on right at this location 52 but somewhere in here is about 052 true then each of these cameras to the right are 60 degrees more uh, looking around the horizon and uh, you can go back and and uh, go back and look at various ones here's one over on the on the uh, on the west coast same same sort of thing and here you see the can direction to the sun is here it's nice and, and interesting you study cloud patterns at sea that if we're uh, landlocked at home this is a way to get a very nice view of what the sky and ocean looks like at sea especially when a storm is going by that's uh, one of the focuses that we've had uh, lately um, and we have other articles on that, and I'll put a link in the descri description here about that uh, article that we discuss this program in more detail as we watch uh, Florence or Hurricane Florence go across this system here, system of these buoys. Now I want to look at this uh, feature here. This says Get Buoy Cam uh, Stations KML. That's a tool that is used in conjunction with Google Earth. So you have to install Google Earth on your computer. Then when you click that, it will download this file uh, called Buoy Cams KML. It's got a one here because I already have it downloaded. So it's there, cans. So I'm not going to do it again. So once you have that, you can go to your, uh, if you have Google Earth already installed, you can go then to that in your downloads folder and literally either, either double, uh, let me get Google Earth here, Google Earth. Then, oh, and I have it already showing. Uh, but then you can either just double click that with Google Earth, Google Earth on your computer and it'll open it up or you can just literally take that and see the plus sign it'll drag it over there I don't want to do that at the moment because I already have it installed and then once you have it installed that'll be a link over here and it'll be in your temporary places and then when you close your computer, you say save, and then it'll move it up to the permanent places. Then when you view it, then when you ever you open Google Earth, you can turn this on, and then these buoys will all be showing in the right place here, which which uh, it becomes interesting beyond looking at it just directly from the. Da National Data Buoy Center site because later we'll show that we can actually overlay onto this picture the storm tracks. Then you can compare where the storms are located relative to the buoys and see these pictures. But on these then you can just click one of these and it'll show you the picture like that. And um, so 
that's the main thing I wanted to show. The other note I might make here is sometimes this takes a while to load. And if it looks like it's not loading right away, in other words, it'll be here and there'll be just a little spinning wheel here when it's trying to load these pictures. The first thing to try at that time is just shut down Google Earth completely and reopen it and see if that doesn't uh, log in a little bit better to these sites. But then you have this picture here around the world of these buoys. And the the maps that you would compare to if you want to compare this to an actual storm is you go to the National Hurricane Center and uh, these are the maps where they now there's nothing going on at the moment here but um, uh, but then and later we'll show how you can overlay these maps onto the Google Earth as well. Or, like here for example, is, is from the archives. If I'm here at the Hurricane Center, and then you go to Archives, go to here, Tropical Cyclone Advisories, go to the Storm Florence, change to Graphics here, and then go to Five Day with a Line, like that, and then you see all. Then you see their whole record of what they had. Each of these advisories are coming out every six hours. Number 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, and so forth. And these are the pictures. These are. Let me just stop that. Stop. These are the pictures that we can later overlay. Overlay onto. Um, on, let me just go for a little bit further here and just show you here. See now there. Now that picture will be live when an actual hurricane's in this vicinity. And so what you might do is you can actually, well, this will be in a different part of their website. I'm looking at the archives now, but this will be a live picture. And then you can just save that. There's several things you can do. You can just save that picture and keep in mind just where the lat lawns are, where the buoys are, and do it that way. That's a real simple uh, a simple method. In other words, you don't need Google Earth at all. You could just go to Hurricane Center, print this picture out, then go to the National Data Buoy Center and look for the buoys that are in this path and, and then watch them that way. There's other ways to automate it and then we'll discuss, we'll discuss that later on. And, um, and then, I, I, again, in the, in the description here, I'll have an, a note on uh, where we did this uh, with a Hurricane Florence going by. And I'll leave that there for now.